I've succumbed to the curse. You know what they say, if you can't join them, beat off. That's exactly what I did. So you may be wondering why I have this on the table, and that's a good question. So let's use this to avoid it altogether. So you know your boy had to get some of these McDaldo packs. It was a bit of an arduous task, eating many a Happy Meal. Though now I finally have enough to actually open. Uh, I don't really know what these really, you know, these things indicate really. I guess it's just different stuff that it comes with. I guess in this case it's uh, some stickers. So that's neat. Uh, maybe we'll look at that at the end. I don't know. Uh, this one is apparently a maze. Uh, if you weren't already lost enough with this video, uh, here's that. Uh, I guess I should probably open all the rest of these and just keep the packs out. There's that. This one has a beach on it. What is this? It's... What is... It's a piece of cardboard. There's a forest and there's a beach. Uh, I guess I could use that to wipe my ass. I don't know. And uh, what is this? More stickers. Except they're tiny this time. Wow. Marvelous. And this one just has... Pikachu with some Pokeballs. Phenomenal. Maybe you could color it in. I don't know. Uh, this one's blue. That's a bit interesting. Most of these came with like grease on them. So that's, uh, you know, the best. Another piece of cardboard. <laughs> Maybe these are like something. <laughs> They're cardboard, all right. With stuff on them. So I guess this is also cardboard with stuff on it. But uh, at least you got some stickers here. Oh, these are different. Hey! That's who we're trying to get, chat room. Or, uh, <laughs> YouTube audience. I don't know. I'm not professional in the slightest. Uh, I know that they just comes with a bunch of starters. These, like, packs here. But, uh, yeah. So you basically get the point. There's just, like, stuff in them. And there's packs. And, uh, you don't really need to be bored with the rest of the stuff. Because, um, I could do that all on my own. So, let's just crack these open and see what we get. Uh, like I said, I don't really know... <laughs> had a bit of a voice crack there i'm going through puberty again uh, i don't know what exactly they're gonna have or i know that they're gonna have starters but i haven't really like looked too much into like the artwork or whatever certainly not how much they cost though i mean i can I, i've seen some stuff that uh it's been a little crazy okay these are kind of like paper packs so they tear and rip super easily and just feel gross so eh, there's no real use in like saving the packs especially when i do that and especially since i just kind of spoiled myself for what's in here so i guess i should open them this way so it, to not ruin it for myself and for you guys but um hey there's chespin and pikachu oh there's four pa uh, four cards i didn't know send the quill hey he's one of, he's one of the cool ones Jorla. he's my favorite starter from johto so that's pretty dope though uh what i'm looking for uh here is uh trico oh trico because uh he's my favorite not just my favorite starter but my favorite uh, Pokemon. Well, technically it's Sceptile, but y you know what I mean. Y you know what I mean. So as you just get into this, like this, I'm just gonna like not look at it and just kind of finagle my way through it. Because, uh, like I said, these paper packs aren't, you know, they're not the best. Alright, then one to the front. Alright, what did we get? Piplup. Bobble. Four Bunny and, uh, hey, Grookey. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna put them right there because I'm 100% uh, professional. Alright, on to the next one because, uh, you yeah, know. Hey, how many do I actually have? I think I had like five or six. I don't remember. Uh, there's that. So, what do we got? We got Sprokey, Cinderquill, Rowlet, and Rowlet. Wow. It's uh, certainly a roller coaster. Alright, on to this one. All right, then what do we have now we have hey we have trico okay so i'm pretty much satisfied that's cool i should probably ha hold these up higher so that way you guys can see i don't know it's just a learning curve poplio oh oh wow oh, we saw who we had rollet and syndicle syndicle is pretty badass so that's pretty cool now if only we could get trico in this little shiny little holographic foil type dealio but hey on to the next one Oh, I feel it in this one. I feel it. We're gonna get Trico, but in Hollow, probably. I don't know. We have Froki. We have Cyndaquil. We have Torchic. Hey, Squirtle. That's actually not bad. He looks really dope. 
that's pretty cool so hopefully you guys can see this again i'm uh 100 uh, a professional and on to the last pack boy time sure flies when you're having fun <laughs> am i right i'm probably not right anyway last one of the night we have piplup we have sobble Rowlet and for the last one drum roll please oh you see that oh it's green oh it's green oh come on oh come on all right it's bulbasaur okay <laughs> that's certainly a grass type but hey i can't complain that's pretty dope i got pretty cool one so i got all in all i got a uh, what is it okay squirtle bulbasaur let me get the rest out of the, out of here oh sorry. or oh we have Cyndaquil as well. We also had Chespin. And we also had Grookey. Because you can't forget him and I think that's it. But the one you really can't forget about is this one. That's the one I really wanted. So uh, that was pretty nostalgic, right? Like uh, open up Pokemon packs like back in the day. However, I could do you one better. <laughs> my old Pokemon binder full of my old Pokemon cards. I dug it out. Uh out of storage and by storage i just mean my closet because i haven't been there in uh quite some time but it would be kind of cool to reminisce about the old pokemon cards i used to have and and show off what trash i have i guess everything's gonna be upside down for me but hey you know oh wait what the fuck do i have in the back oh my gosh i have garbage in the back so i have fucking this learn to play pokemon on that maybe i don't know so i have i have a pack full of uh damage counter so that's that's something now here's the the damage counter thing i also have uh what is this oh like the pokemon world thingamajiggies and uh and all that pikachu little thingamajbob whoa okay oh apparently i bought stormfront at some point so that's uh neat apparently i, I didn't have top loader so i put them in like name tag <laughs> little plastic sleeves so that's something but hey, we got a little Pikachu from like the WB like thingamabob, so that's pretty cool. I can't... Oh, chat. Oh, there we go. We also have a Pikachu that's just a Pikachu. Hey, look, an e-reader Tortodile. That's pretty dope. That's, that's cool. Uh, Tyranitar. He just looks pretty dope. Oh, wait, is he holographic? Oh, he's holographic. Well, sort of. You could, I don't know if you can tell. Deoxys. Oh, he's a, um, he's a Delta species. I love Delta species back in the day, like for the card game. I guess nowadays it would be uh, akin to the, what is it, Galarian forms and stuff like that, and like Alolan forms. But back in the day it was just Delta species, and uh, that was pretty dope, just seeing like Pokemon in like different uh, types. Ah, that's cool. Mistrevious, so that's uh, the big ass forehead that you got there. We got Rayquaza. Ain't that lovely. And, uh, oh, Entei. Oh, Reverse Hollow. Oh, he's a promo as well. And an Electabuzz. Is he a promo as well? Or what is this? It's, it says the best and the winner on there. I certainly don't feel like one. Regardless, look at all these Pokemon cards. I'm pretty sure, yeah, these are, these are all fake. It's like flying. Heck, look at all these. Yeah, assuming you could actually even see all this. Oh, yeah, I'm going backwards. Sorry, chat room. Uh, like the camera's like mirrored on my end just to see. So that's, that's, oh man, look at this one. Now that's class right there. Oh, it's a Monferno. Would you look at that? Can't wait to burn that up. Uh, what about this batch? Oh, a Kingler. Ain't that something? Look at this. Oh, man, this red shoe is like, looks so dingy. Well, I guess all of these look so dingy and garbagey. What about this last pile? Oh, this is a Piplup. Well, that's cool, I suppose. Oh, this. Oh, bruh. Y you would be the talk of the town with this card right here. Look at that. Looks just like tinfoil. Oh, look at this one, chat room. Exactly the same. I wait, is this actually no, this is not even remotely real, especially with the text over there. Oh boy, that's that's something. Marsh dump. Oh man, these are these are some cards and a half. But hey, they were my cards back in the day. I remember I used to frequent this uh dollar store called like Sam's Dollar or something. And uh, it would have these like Pokemon like packs. Or well, I guess it would be more like uh, like theme decks, but disguised as packs. Regardless, they were a dollar, and uh, I guess my mom would just buy them for me because I was like, oh, I don't like Pokemon cards, and she would like be like, all right, well, then two Pokemon cards. 
Ain't that lovely. Much like this Monferno. This one's just like the best out of all of this. This is just like oozes quality. Monferno. Alrighty then. So I have these cards. And there's Shriko, one of my favorites. What? Hey, like a break card. Wait, is this even. Hold on, chat room. This, this kind of looks a little suspicious. And now uh, this isn't fake, right? Maybe, probably. I don't know. I just, I haven't really seen many, uh, like these, uh, half cards. So I don't know. It looks cool though. Shiny. <laughs> I'm very easily amused. Hey, look, so another Delta species right there. Classic, a Raichu. Some classic cards from back in the day. So that's dope. Wow, they're cards, all right. Oh, we hit the energy territory. Oh, we certainly hit the energy territory. Now we just got a bunch of trainers and supporters. And then the odd promo every now and then. Also, these cards. I don't know why I bought this. It was like on clearance. Like, wait. This was like way back in the day. Whoa, hold on. It might actually tell me when this was. 2008. <laughs> back in 2000, goddamn eight. I saw this in clearance. And I was like, why would no one want this? And then I bought it. And then now, many years later... I understand why no one would want this. Not to say that these are bad cards. It's just that you can't really play them in like a normal deck. You'd be like, oh, okay. I know exactly what card this is coming up. Or what's coming up. Boy, howdy. Yep, we're still in the trainer section with the stunky over there. Oh, more energies. Got a lot of energies. Hey, we've, we've hit Pokemon again. Wow. These are certainly cards. They're my cards. Hey, Brock's Mankey. Oh, bro. If we find... Oh, my... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, chat room. Look at this. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. I can't get... I can't get it out. There it is. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold, hold the phone. Are you holding the phone? You better hold it. And you better pick it up now because they're probably going to hang up at this point. And would you look at that? It was scam likely. Look at this. <laughs> that's... Uh, that's... That's just beautiful. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Anyway, if we find that other monkey, Mankey, there's like a Mankey around here somewhere that I got an interesting story about it. Uh, I'm sure like just by looking at it, you'll be like, what in the world has it gone through? That's exactly what I'm going to There's another one. <laughs> Why is there another one? Two for the price of one. Alrighty then. Uh, more cards. Hopefully you can see this, like what part does like... Without the glare, hopefully. Maybe I... Future me? Yeah, it's your, it's your, that's your problem. Oh, look. More Delta species. An electric Larvitar and a Steel Pikachu. Ain't that neat? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Look at this one. A level X Palkia. How could you not want this piece of beauty? If it would ever focus. Well, I mean, you don't really need to see it in high detail you just you just know that it's uh that oh i comp oh no this one this is the one you have to look at <laughs> what is wrong with this one well i guess everything but there we go oh my lord have mercy on this palkia soul wait does it even say oh no yeah palkia okay yeah with uh level 9 or no 90 hp and level 67 boy howdy I'll get rid of the rest of the Pokies later. Anyway, hey look, some Charmanders and Chars. Wait, is this? This looks a little iffy. <laughs> oh my, how many of these do I have? Okay, again, I'll, I'll get rid of that later. Hmm, not really interesting Pokemon cards now. But hey, hey look, this is back when they had like uh, berries like attached to the cards. Oh, this is 2008. This is like one of the other thing about Bob's cards. But hey, that's pretty neat. I don't, I don't actually remember um, seeing too many of these cards, but maybe they, they were around. Where's this goddamn Mankey? There's this, like, Mankey that got super, like, annihilated. Nope, still not here. It's around here somewhere, I think. I hope and pray. But still, these are some pretty nice cards. Well, I guess I'm a bit biased. Oh, no, this is my normal Mankey. This is, like, my original one. That uh, 
that I, that I had from back in the day. I guess it's from, what is it, Jungle? That's pretty neat, I suppose. But there's one that, boy howdy, it has character. And a lot of it. Wait, maybe? Did I pass it? Maybe I passed it. Hold on. Let me let me find it real quick. Oh, I found it. I found it. Okay, it was like right here in the beginning. Now this... <laughs> this manky card. <laughs> it is mangled up. Now you may be wondering, why does it look like this if it would ever decide to focus? What if I do this? And then I bring it out? There we go. Okay, you may be like, okay, what did you do to it? I didn't do anything. I found this uh, in the trash back in elementary school. There was like a kid that didn't want it. And I was like, I mean, I'll take it if you don't want it. And then he was like, nah, you know what? Uh, I just don't want it anymore. I'm going to throw it away. So he like scribbled on it and then he crumpled it up. And then for some reason, cut the corners out of like all of them. <laughs> for some reason, I don't know. And it's like super like wonky. And oh my gosh, this is just like a in terrible shape. But I was like, I still want this card because uh, why not? I'm, I'm like, I like Pokemon and I'm a nerd and you know, it's there's like, you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure as they always say. And so I, I got it out of the garbage and I kept it uh, in my pocket until the end of the class. And then I went home and I was like, I'm going to add this to my collection. And so I did. And I'm going to continue to have it right here. Because it's, uh, I don't know, it's in interesting enough, I suppose. So that was my pokemon binder full of uh my old pokemon cards so i hope you enjoyed that little romp through memory lane but we're not done oh no we're not done just yet gotta make some room you may be wondering why the title of this video is falling into the black hole and not into the rabbit hole as the saying usually goes and well it's because my wallet would beg to differ now how do i open this thing up oh gosh man these boxes are a lot tougher to open than one may uh, originally think but hey we're making progress there we go now i'm not just a fan of pokemon i'm also a big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh as well all right so much so that um i don't even know what this is this is just like a thing that came out semi recently uh i found it and i was like you know what i'll get it <laughs> because i have been trying to get this for a while and uh boy how do you was it an ordeal but now I have it, so now let's open it up. Okay, so on the box it tells you what it has. It has two Legendary Duelists, Season 2 packs, uh, each with 18 cards. Oh god, damn, that's a lot. One uh, one out of 10 Secret Rare uh, Variant cards, which if I remember correctly, those are like the cards that like have different colors on them. So that's pretty neat. And then one of several collectible die. That's pretty neat. <laughs> now for Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, oh my god, I already did this box dirty. Okay, well... The cops, I can already hear the cops coming for me a mile away for what I've just, the atrocity I've just committed. But hey, that's not going to stop me now. <coughs> neither is this, <coughs> neither is this death that's approaching my throat. Alrighty then. Now for Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, I don't really know uh, too much about it. Or well, nowadays, I don't know too much about it. It wasn't until um, the Dark Side of Dimensions. That's when I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh. Because a uh, uh, buddy of mine, Mondo, shout out to Mondo. Uh, he also does like card packs and stuff. You should check him out. Maybe. I don't know. After this though. After this. <laughs> and uh, him and his like pals were gonna go see Dark Side of Dimensions and they said, Hey, you wanna come with? And I was like, you know what? Sure, I got nothing better to do. And so I did. Well, look at this. Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. I don't know what this is. But it looks neat. <laughs> and uh, oh, my die. It's a blue die with uh, the blue eyes on it. <laughs> Fitting. Well, I mean, if you could even see this. Hold on. Eh, eh, oh, oh. What's that? Okay, well, it's just gonna... It's a die. You know what dice look like. Nothing left, so you, uh, you already know. Alright then, so there's two packs. I don't know what to expect. Also, we have this and this, so I'll just have that to the side like that. Continuing the story I was just mentioning. Uh, I was, like, a big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! up until, like, 5Ds, I think. That was, like, the last time I, uh, really kept up with the show. And then after that, I kind of just trailed off. I didn't really, uh... I don't know, I just didn't follow it afterwards, didn't intrigue me anymore. Uh, but after Dark Side of Dimensions, uh, Mondo told me about Duel Links as well, and I was like, you know what, I'll check that out. And so I did. And then uh, after that, I kind of just fell back into Yu-Gi-Oh. And then after that, uh, well, I kind of just like bought some cards and played Duel Links. Uh, surprisingly enough, uh, Duel Links, when it came out on Steam, 
it quickly became my most played steam game which is still weird to think about since i have like like near and fucking dragon ball fighters and all these other games that i felt like i put way more time into but apparently not <laughs> i still have like bajillion hours on duel links uh these have like how many like 18 bajillion cards yeah 18 cards uh i don't know what the card trick is so i'm just gonna do this all right then so what is this this is a black wing what the fuck nothing the starlight ain't that something uh we also have uh that thing uh if this thing can focus what if i do this and then bring it out oh black bird clone there it is now it's focused up this way oh now we have photon charge that's that's certainly a trap card we got number 62 galaxy eyes prime photon i cannot I'm, I'm looking at like my computer screen which is like over there there <laughs> and uh, it's quite far away and i can't really tell what i'm looking at here uh yeah photon dragon okay i could still sort of read i have some some sort of comprehension left harpy queen there we go if i could get like the right angle on here uh harpy queen harpy lady one hey i remember that one from like back in the day i used to also get uh Yu-Gi-Oh packs from that same dollar store so <laughs> i don't know where those are at the moment but hey i certainly have some of those classic uh fake cards as well all right what in the world is this it is abyss action extras ain't that something it's one of those like what in the world this one's shiny as hell the white stone of ancients can't imagine that's anything good but it's very shiny looking so i'm happy we also have cyber uh what is this Dra dragon or dragoon no it is dragon dragon not 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 pronounceable uh then we have uh blue eyes ultimate dragon that's another classic one it's also very shiny so again i'm happy i'm you can just hand me tinfoil at this point i'd be like "Ooh, that's dope uh what is this thorn of malice then we have a uh, magnificent machine angel wait isn't this like a ritual card no it's a spell card never mind i don't i barely know anything uh, uh Lu what the fuck luna light serenade dance uh harpy conductor hey it's a link card this is also like the time after well i guess continuing back to the story after i played some duelings and after i uh got back into Yu-Gi-Oh after dark side of dimensions uh i got into brains and then i got really into like uh these like cypress cards and uh yeah that, and that's and that's basically my extent of Yu-Gi-Oh at this point after that i kind of just fell off again and what is this now a luna light yellow matern matern martin <laughs> martin classic show on uh on on bet i think uh black garden uh what is this incident what incinerated machine angel ain't that something and uh what is this queen angel of roses whoa okay maybe yeah this is like a good angle to have them at so out of this uh the shiny cards that we got were uh oh gosh it was a mess, or it is a mess at the moment. Yeah, it was a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Cyber Dragon, that one, and this one. So, pretty neat. And then we also got this uh, Link card, so that's pretty dope. Happy with that. Uh, I can't imagine I could just plop that into a, a, like a deck I have already made. So, hey, but it's 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 certainly still something. On to the next one, because uh, there's two of them. I almost forgot there was two of them. I was about to be like, all right, on to the next thing. But no. We still got another pack to open. Yeah, man, these things are thick as well. These feel a lot better than the like the paper packs from that Pokemon thing we just did. All right, this is just gonna be one of those fat rips, uh, courtesy of uh, Mondo. You know, sponsoring this rip right here. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. That's certainly a Mondo sponsored rip. All right, now hopefully we get that oh, Mondo sponsored luck. Okay. Here we go, uh, Abyss Actor, Wild Hope. I forgot I have to be showing you guys the cards. I'm just trying to look at them and read them. All right, Abyss Actor, th that thing. Then we got uh, the White Stone of Legend. Wait, didn't we just get... No, that was a different one. Um, hey, Cyber Harpy Lady. Another one of those classic cards that I remember. Uh, dragon, Spirit of White. Certainly a dragon. And certainly is white. What is Abyss Script? What the fuck? Romantic Terror. Like Romeo and Juliet. Uh, Blackwing t t tam Tamer? Blackwing Tamer Obsidian Hawk Joe. Okay, then. It's Joe. 
Yo mama. Anyway, uh, we have Galaxy Wizard. Certainly a wizard in a galaxy. Hey, look at that. Uh, Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. Another shiny one. <laughs> Whoa, another one. Cyber what Dragon, not pronounceable yet again, except this time in green. Whoa. Well, I mean, you can't really see that, but certainly green. And another one of these, uh, what is it? Oh, it's a blue this time. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, but in blue. A lot of stars as well. Oh my gosh, if this thing can focus. Hey, there we go. And now you guys can read along with me. Anyway, Dark Rose Fairy. Harpy's Feather Storm. I thought it was Harpy's Feather Duster for a second there. I was about to get a little excited. Cyber Egg Angel. Uh, Mark of the Rose. Isn't that like a Yu-Gi-Oh! PS2? No, that's a Duelist of the Rose. That one, that one was pretty good as well. Uh, I haven't played much of it though, but I certainly remember it. Uh, Cyber Shield. I think on like the... Japanese art, they have like little like spikes on the little nipples there. So that's pretty interesting. A little factoid for you, for you but uh, I'm pretty sure you already knew that. Much like you already knew what uh, Splendid Rose does. Because holy moly, that's a novel and a half. And then we have Fallen Angel of Roses? Again? Yeah, okay, yeah, Fallen Angel of Roses. Lunalite Fusion. I mean, I, I certainly like fusions. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Elemental Heat. Rose, that's it. Okay, I thought we had one more. Uh, I'm a big fan of fusion cards, though. Or a big fan of elemental heroes, so. So that's pretty dope to have a fusion card. Uh, I don't know what that means, though. Uh, I, well, I mean, obviously it means you can fuse stuff, but uh, I don't know what the fuck uh, Luna Light is. Certainly, uh, probably cool. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, what is this? Cyber Angel It's a plant. Okay, that's certainly something. So we ended off with the blue, blue eyes, and the green, the other one. And uh, a yellow or gold, I guess, to make it fancier. Blue eyes thingamajiggy. So that's certainly cool. And then also, I got this cool dice. I don't know about you, but this is like really like like made it all worth it. I don't know. Like a cool looking die. It was either like this one or the... What was the other one? I already chunked the box like to high hell. There was like this one and then there was like another one that looked pretty cool. Uh, and so like one, either one of those two would have made me happy. So glad I got this one. So uh, that's about it for... For this Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, but much like the Pokemon, we're not done yet. We're gonna look at my old Pokemon, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So, uh, two seconds. All right, I found my old cards. I'm pretty sure they're in this tin. As you can see, I'm, I was still a pretty avid collector of Yu-Gi-Oh uh, up until this point. Okay. All right, I forgot. I usually keep my cards in a pile in the corner of the room. How silly of me to actually have them just laying around there. Uh, I'll just have them divided up in these two, three piles. Uh, this is like the deck I was talking to you about earlier where I actually got into like the cybers uh, archetype. Or is it archetype? I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, this is these are <laughs> these are some cards. Also, I got these like cool little Kaiba Corp uh, deck sleeves. And uh, I remember it was being a pain uh, to find them. But then I did. And I was like, hooray. And then I bought two. And I was like, I'm going to put them on my cards because what else am I going to do with them? Anyway, just to quickly go through these, uh, uh, there's a Honeybot, certainly a card, and it's certainly a Link one. Deco Talker, uh, what? Firewall Dragon. I should probably put him up higher so you can read. Uh, po Poxy, <laughs> a Poxy uh, Dragon. Uh, next thing you know, we're gonna have a uh, Flex Glue Dragon. Uh, Enco Talker, a uh, Space ins Insulator, Insulator, Folio. Deco Talker yet again. Hey, Link Karibo. That's pretty dope. Uh, Trigate Wizard. Also, I don't think this was, like, the deck, like, proper. I think I just put, like, a bunch of these cards, like, together. And then I was going to form a deck out of them. So, yeah. It, I don't know. This was, like, a couple years ago. I don't really know what I was thinking. But I sleeved them, so they must mean something. Uh, Link Spider. Another one. A Proxy Dragon. A Binary Sorceress. Maybe if I hold it like this. Transco Talker. Uh, Enco Talker. How many of these Talker cards do I have? Uh, what the fuck? I can't even read this one. Topologic Gumblar Dragon. Uh, it's certainly a mouthful. Then we have, hey, look, 3D Dot Game Heroes. Uh, Dotscaper. Digitron. Uh, Stack Reviver. Ram Clouder. Drag Connect. Link Slay. Oh my gosh, look at that. He has like sparkles. Like shing, sparkle, sparkle. Uh, boots staggered. 
Uh, Link Slayer, yet again. Uh, trans... What? No, not transcode. Balance. Balancer Lord. Uh, Bit Trooper. Pompthorn. Prompthorn. <laughs> Rom Claudia. Digitron. Oh, this way. Link Streamer. Uh, oh, another, like, sparkly one. Backup Secretary. Uh, Balancer Lord, yet again. Oh, no, I'm skipping over stuff. Oh, no, it's just another one of these drag connects. Uh, Cybers White Hat. Ain't that just a cowboy looking motherfucker? We got Relink Karibo. Ain't he just adorable? Uh, the, the what? The Great Buster. Wait, isn't he in Duel Links? That's not oh, okay then. Anyway, <laughs> getting carried away. What is this? Widget Kid. Oh no, man, these things are just like getting stuck everywhere. What in the world is this? Launcher Commander. Okay, whatever. Focus. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, it's just not going to focus. What if I do this and reset it? Oh, we have a frog. Text, text, text charger. All right, then Texas Rangers. Okay, then uh, another backup secretary. Another drag connect. How many of these motherfuckers? Bitron. Oh, gosh. Unexpected die. Hey, look, a uh, scapegoat. Oh, I remember I had one of these back in the day. I don't, I don't know if this is it. I doubt it. Uh, I had one from one of those like quarter machines. You just like put, I'm pretty sure it was like 50 cent actually. I went to like a, what was it? Like the Super Mercado Monterrey. I don't know why I said like that. <laughs> I would go and get tortillas. <laughs> anyway, and uh, at the end, they would have these like little machines. And uh, yeah, I got, I remember getting a scapegoat out of one of them. That's neat. <laughs> Mystical Space Typhoon, a classic. A dark hole. You could barely even see that. Security block. Oh. Mind control. Uh, security block. Oh gosh. Guardian reborn. Or no, monster reborn. Ain't that a scapegoat? Uh, monster reborn. A Cyanet universe. Cyanet backdoor. Cyanet backdoor. Limit code. Recoded alive. Cyber speaking. And another. Recoded alive. Alrighty then. And. Oh no, that's not it. Cyber. Uh, okay, then another one of those. And a cyber. What? Cyber regression. Sorry, I cannot read that far away. And awaking the dragon. All right, coolio. That certainly was cards. Now to like speed this up a little bit, cause uh, holy moly, this video has been going on long enough. All right, and now this pile. I'm just gonna like speed through these, cause uh, I'm sure you guys are already like either asleep or have moved on with your lives, which uh, I don't blame you. Dark magician. And then we have dark magician. Okay, I'm just gonna do one of these. I mean, this one's like super warped. Oh, unfortunate. Anyway, another one of those. A Dark Magician Girl. Okay, and more. A lot of these Dark Magician Girls. I'm also a big fan of like spellcasters as well. So, uh, or like the, yeah, spellcaster thingamajiggy. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, that's about that. I mean, like in Duel Links, I used to play with, uh, like spellcaster deck. Uh, well, just kind of like a mishmash of like everything until I kind of like relearned how to play Yu Gi Oh! And then at that point, I just got like moderately better and by moderately better i just mean uh i looked up how to play the game online uh and by that i just mean i just looked up the best decks you can make <laughs> with uh like the cards i already had that was uh that was a cool experience back in the day nowadays i don't play it too often but it's still something i can go back to every now and then and be like you know what i'll check out the new update i think they recently added uh not 5ds well they did add 5ds a while back but uh they added uh the one after that well, you can't even see anything of this card. It's like just pitch black. Whoa. Oh, but it's like hollow, I think. I don't know. Very, very hard to look at card. Oh, this one's also nice and shiny. Regardless, that was that pile. Uh, they added Zexel, I think. Yeah, so now they added like Pendulum? No, 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 not Pendulum. That's the one after that, right? Uh, what's after uh, Zexel? It's... uh. It's something, all right. Uh, as you can tell, I'm very knowledgeable on Yu Gi Oh! So you can ask me anything in the comments down below. And these are like elemental heroes. So th these are these are some of my like the oldest ones. And these are like really cool because I was a big fan of GX gro growing up. So we got uh, a Avion and then first Inatrix. Oh, we got even a Hero Heat. That's pretty cool. And then I started using like hero cards in, uh, in Duel Links. And then I got really invested in the game again because I was like, oh, I remember these cards. And then so uh, I remembered like what to do, sort of, not really. And then I, uh, I dropped it again after that. But then I brought, I got uh, back into it after uh, 5Ds got introduced. 
not because of five Ds. I was just like, oh, okay, I'll get some gems and I'll go back to collecting some of the the older cards I was trying to go for. So that, that was pretty cool. Uh, I don't know like what uh the thing is nowadays. Well, I mean, besides like Zexel. So you know that was uh XZs. That's what the new hot stuff that was added to Duel Links was. Uh, but I don't really know like what they're planning on doing because I haven't kept up with the news. I assume at at this rate they're gonna eventually add uh the one after. What was after Zexel? I cannot for the life of me remember. But whatever that is, whatever whenever they had that that'll be cool. But whenever they had uh rains, hey another scapegoat. I wonder if this is the one I had as a kid. I don't know. It certainly feels like very flimsy and like gross feeling. Anyway, oh, these are like the, the different god cards that I got with the with, with this thing. That's pretty cool. I don't think I could play these, right? Uh, No, not playable, right? Yeah, well, I mean, I could see it, but like, I'm sure you guys can't. But uh, if I do this, and then if I wait patiently, and then I clog my feet uh, four times, and then I say there's no place like focus. All right, you just have to take my word that you just can't play these. But uh, hold on, if I like have it there a now you could probably not still read it regardless take my word on it and then we got a hey look karibo he, that, that's a classic one right there monster something or another call of the dead call of duty haha <laughs> uh man i mean modern warfare 2 was a, a funny game wasn't it i <laughs> just completely off, off track but hey that was yukio <laughs> and so with that uh i still have one more thing up my sleeve and so uh i'll be right back with that now this is where I would open up some Digimon packs or even the starter set. If I had them, these Digimon cards are harder to get a hold of than a greased up pig on a sizzling summer Sunday. Unless, unless plan B kicks in. So future me, uh, cut ahead to plan B. Unless you're seeing this now, in which case plan B failed and I've resulted to plan C. Because plan C never failed. That's a bad... C. E. <laughs> Which is accepting that I'll never get these packs. And that's where these come in to save the day. These uh, Dragon Ball packs uh, of cards. You see, I frequent uh, this little shop at the flea market. It's a very respectable, very reputable establishment. It's like run by the sweet old couple that has like a bunch of like stuff. Like b b a bunch of stuff, really. Um... And that's where I even got this little guy right here, is Gotenks. It's uh, the limited edition uh, Melty Face Gotenks, if you, if, you, if you could believe me or not. Boy howdy, ain't that just quality. So what I'm trying to say here is that these packs right here are definitely legit. If the camera can focus again onto them. Alright, the camera seemed to have fixed itself, so that's what I'm going to open up today. So we'll start off with this one, with Bardock. I haven't really like opened this before. I just sort of bought them and then just never, uh, never opened them. <laughs> they were like a dollar, so that, that was pretty cool. And they even threw in that like limited edition Gohan or Gotenks or whatever he is. All right, so we got a uh, Striker Bardock. Ain't that something? And we got Dauntless Kale. And we have to save a hopeful future. I have no idea what these Dragon Ball <laughs> cards are. Uh, I, I I just don't know anything about this Dragon Ball. I love Dragon Ball. Don't get me wrong, but uh, but the card game. Uh, well, you have me there. What is unwavering uh, solidarity? Solidarity, Fascia. Alrighty then. We have Universe Nine Striker, Hisop, Hisop. Okay, then maybe it's like Usopp's long lost cousin. Oh, we got Majin Buu, the completely revived. Ain't that something? That's pretty. <gasps> Look at that. They even got Majin Buu on the back. Oh, it's hollow too, <gasps> bro. Is this good? <laughs> I honestly don't know. <laughs> that's that's something. All right, we have uh, Cato, Cato, what? Cato Pizia, Piz, 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 Piz your pants. Cato Pesla. He looks like he looks like an old like Tatanoko character. He looks like like a, like a Gotcha Man type of dealio. I don't know. Maybe he's like into common Rider or something. Big Getty Star. We have Cauliflower. Kai Attendant of Universe 6. He's got a long head. Oh, and that's it. That's pretty cool, though. This is a cool-looking card. I can't be mad at that. It's shiny. Again, throw some tinfoil out my face, and I'll be like, whoa! All right, then. Now on to the next pack. 
At least these are a lot easier to open. <laughs> okay, we have Ginyu. Yeah, we have Ginyu. And we have Cooler. Wait, what? Awakening Core Meta Cooler. Mr. Boo. Well, we have a cooler version of him now. Uh, Popo Guardian Aid. Or Popo the Guardian's Aid. Dr. Mew? Mew? Yeah, we have Lord Slug. Return to form? Return to form? Return to form. Lord Slug return to form. Shorm. Forever. Uh, Shun Shun Protector Majin. Man, these are... We're getting into some... Some, uh, I don't know what kind of stuff we're getting into. Uh, Dangerous Triangle. I remember him. He was in Dragon Ball Super. Now you're talking my language. So, I will say those fights were kind of boring. Bulma, Supporter of the Future. Uh, quick Dodge, Sun Goten. Okay, then. That's... That was it. <laughs> okay, then. Again, this card, though. <laughs> this card... This card's pretty cool. <laughs> so, that's, uh... That's something... Alrighty then, before I forget, I found some uh, quality Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so uh, feast your eyes on this Slifer the Sky Dragon. <laughs> Boy, howdy, these are, these are something. Oh, what is the world? Oh, poor man. He, he looks like he's troubled. Lord Legacy's memory. Yeah, I wish I could forget this memory. Now we have someone I can't read, and I don't, I don't really care too much to read anymore. Uh... Yeah, you guys can read that novel. Universal Adapter. Whoa. <laughs> Why am I leaning more to the left now? World Lucky... World Lucky? World Legacy Survival. Yeah, I don't think these cards are going to survive anytime soon. Not in this world. What? Full... Full, what? full Metal Foes Fusion. A spell card. Oh, we have another one. I thought that was it. Oh my gosh, look at the backs of these cards. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, the camera's mirrored. I'm sorry about that. You gotta remember that. Whoa. Yu-Gi-Oh. So despite falling back into card games, I haven't really been able to get much of anything. Seems like they're all sold out before I can even know that there's something new to come out in the first place. And the stuff that is available is like cost like a bajillion dollars and... There's no way I'm paying that much because I'm a cheapskate. I mean, frugal. I'm frugal with my money. <laughs> Believe it or not. So, um... But hopefully you enjoyed this, like, trip down memory lane of, like, all these weird cards I have. Maybe I'll do this again at some point. Maybe with, like, when I find more cards or something. Like these cards. They're, like, Gundam cards that I found. That's pretty interesting, I guess. 